In this um, video, I'm going to show you how to create a log file in Stata. I have just a simple data set here that I've used in prior videos. Um, looks like this. But the purpose of this is I want you to see how to start a log file. What a log file does is it saves everything in this results window as you go into a separate file. Okay. So in order to do that, there's a variety of ways. I can go to File, come down here, Log, Begin. I can also use, um, it's right over, I'm sorry, I don't usually use this spot, right here. This one right here creates the log file here as well. So, or you can type in the command for it, which you'll see in a minute. I'm going to go do it this way. It's the way I'm just used to it file log begin okay click on that now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to save uh, the name of the file so um, you navigate to where you want through your directories um, type in a name for it now i want you to notice the options down here this is in a state of specific format most of the time what you're going to want is the other option the dot log the dot log saves it in a text format that can be opened in a word processor or, or text editor um, for you. So I'm going to do that. Type in the name. Type. Uh, make sure it's the log option. Hit save. Now what you see is right here. It says log on the text. That tells you it's working. Whatever I do from now on that shows up in this window will go into that file. So if I were to type in um, some pretest, this now has gone to that file. We see it here as well, but it's also gone to that file. If I want to type in um, tab gender, again, this will also now go to that file. So you have a file with this and this in it. So, so that can be very useful. Now let's suppose that, that you want to pause it because you're going to do some things now you don't really want going to that file. Maybe you're just trying out some things, okay? So the command for that, if you come up here to file log, you have a suspend option, okay? Suspend just pauses it. doesn't close the log file working in the background. It's still there, but it just suspends it temporarily. Close closes it completely, and like I'm done using that file. I don't want anything more to be saved to that. So let's click suspend, okay? Now you'll note right here and right here, the command for that is log off. And you notice here it says log off. Now if I do something, okay, so so I'm going to do um, some post test. Now I run this. It's not. It didn't go to that file. It's not there. But I can get it going on again. I can go up here and I can go to resume. It'll start again. Or I just type log on. Now everything from now on will go to that file again. So log off toggles it to pause, log on, toggles it to back on recording what I do from that point on. And then um, if I want to, if I'm all done together, I just type log close, it's closed, it's done. Now I can go to that file, I can open it, and I can look at my results.